Israeli Ministry of Defense has confirmed that the United States has received the second battery of the Iron Dome air defense systems from Israel in accordance with a deal signed by the two countries. The first battery was delivered back in September. Viewers may note that the U.S. had signed a deal in year for the procurement of two Iron Dome batteries. Iron Dome will be deployed to defend important military assets like air bases against aerial threats. The systems delivered are specifically customized as per American requirements. Defense Minister Benny Gantz said in a statement, I'm confident that the system will assist the U.S. Army in protecting American troops from ballistic and airborne threats as well as from developing threats in the areas where U.S. troops are deployed on various missions. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why U.S. military is procuring Israeli-made Iron Dome. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. Russia and China have invested a lot of effort in cruise missile technology and are at par or even a step ahead in some aspect when compared to America in this field. Cruise missile technology is also proliferating to many other countries too and is getting cheaper and cheaper by the day. Even technologically less advanced nations like Iran are developing cruise missiles. The U.S. Army as well as Congress is well aware of the threat from short as well as long-range cruise missiles. This has been underlined in the U.S. National Defense Strategy, which was released in January of 2018 by the Pentagon. Further in the Annual Defense Policy Bill for the 2019 fiscal year, Congress made it legally binding for the U.S. to have two batteries of an air defense system dedicated for protection against cruise missiles. These are to be made operational by 2020. In the 1990s, Hezbollah, based in Lebanon, fired rockets into the northern part of Israel. This established a need for a system which could counter this threat. During the 2006 Second Lebanon War, the situation worsened. Hezbollah fired approximately 4,000 rockets mostly the short-range Katyusha. The main targets of these rockets were the northern part of Israel, including Haifa, the country's third-largest city. The rocket onslaught resulted in deaths of 44 Israeli civilians. Not only this, approximately 250,000 Israeli citizens had to be evacuated, and an estimated 1 million Israelis were confined in or near bomb shelters during the assault. In the period between 2000 and 2008, 8,000 projectiles were launched in the southern part of Israel, mainly by Hamas. It's estimated that 50% of these were rockets and the other 50% were mortar bombs. The rockets were mostly Qassams launched by 122mm grad launchers from Gaza Strip. The Qassam has a longer range than previous rockets and almost one million civilians were within its range. These increased Israel's determination to find a solution to this security challenge. In 2007, after a lot of evaluations, Israel's defense minister, Amir Peretz, selected Iron Dome for defense against short-range threats. In 2011, Israel began operating the Iron Dome officially. The Iron Dome weapon defense system is the lowest layer of Israel's multi-layered air and missile defense umbrella. It's a mobile, all-weather air defense system developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and Israel Aerospace Industries. 
It consists of three components – radar, battle management component, and missile launcher. The system uses the radar to detect incoming projectiles. The radar tracks the projectile and sends information to the battle management component. The battle management component examines where the incoming projectiles will hit and if the area of impact is estimated to fall in its purview, it commands the missile launcher to fire interceptors to neutralize the target in midair. Iron Dome has a first-of-its-kind multi-mission launcher that's designed to fire a variety of interceptor missiles. The interceptor is chosen depending on the threat. Iron Dome's Tamir interceptor missiles can strike down incoming threats launched from ranges of 2.5 miles or 4 kilometers to 44 miles or 70 kilometers. Tamir missile is equipped with electro-optical sensors and steering fins with proximity fuse blast warheads. Each Iron Dome battery includes three to four stationary launchers with 20 Tamir missiles and a battlefield radar. A single battery can defend up to nearly 60 square miles. Iron Dome is considered to be the most used missile defense system. Ten Iron Dome batteries protect Israel. According to Israel, it's been used to intercept more than 1,500 targets with a greater than 90% success rate since it was deployed in 2011. Though the data regarding success rate is often challenged by critics, there's no doubt the system has seen extensive real-world usage. For Israel, Iron Dome's main objective is to neutralize rockets and other artillery rounds, but for the U.S. Army, it will act primarily as a defense against cruise missiles. So there's an important tactical difference and the U.S. military has a plan to address this. The two acquired batteries of Iron Dome will be operationally fielded and will be used to identify how Iron Dome can be used as part of the U.S. Army's indirect fires protection capability and American air defense architecture when compared to how it's currently being used by Israel for countering incoming rockets and missiles at short range. Currently, U.S. Army's primary air defense weapon is the Patriot surface-to-air missile system, but Patriot Interceptor costs around $2 million each. This makes it hard to acquire in large numbers, and if limited numbers are available, then the system could be easily overwhelmed. This is where Iron Dome comes into the picture. Tamir Interceptor, used by Iron Dome, has a reported unit cost of $100,000 to $150,000. This means a battery of Iron Dome consisting of 20 Tamir Interceptor can be deployed for the cost of about a single Patriot Interceptor missile. This makes it far more cost-effective. The fact is that Iron Dome has seen significant usage is actually a blessing. It's seen several rounds of optimizations, which is only possible when the system faces real-life tests and chinks are identified. This is what makes the Iron Dome a unique asset. Another important aspect is that Iron Dome is readily available to America. Iron Dome has received quite a bit of funding from U.S. government and America's Raytheon actually manufactures 70% of Tamir Interceptor. The fact that it's seen significant usage, is low cost and immediately available makes the Iron Dome a perfect solution for U.S. Army's needs. According to the Times of Israel, Raphael announced that it was partnering with the American defense contractor Raytheon to open an Iron Dome production line in the United States, a sign that further U.S. deals were in the offing. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.